Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a huge Friday today on FIFA 22 because footies is here. Today is the big day that we've been waiting for for the past couple of weeks. A fan favorite promo is dropping and it all starts today. We've got this loading screen. We have got leaks to look at and a lot of things to talk through because it's going to be an insane Friday of content today on FIFA. So, EA messed up this loading screen already. We have to talk about that. There's new weekend league rewards. We already know one of the winners for that first vote that we had for a footies voting SBC. And I have a lot of thoughts on how I think the market's going to move today because I think it's going to be an insanely hyped day of content and that's going to make the market move a lot on this game. So I want to take a look at all of that in this video and more. If you're excited for footies, make sure to the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. But first, a quick word from our sponsor this video. Hey you, yes you. Does this describe you? You got bush? You definitely do if you haven't tried the best products from today's video sponsor, Man Scaped. Taking control of your bush is important and I'm here today to help you save big and be the most hygienic version of yourself by using code TFA at manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. Now how are you gonna take care of this bush? You might ask, TFA, what do I do? You get yourself the Performance Package 4.0 right here, which includes all of these great products. We have the Manscaped 4.0 Lawn Mower Trimmer. The electric trimmer is the bush's worst nightmare. This trimmer is designed to reduce grooming accidents and shave hair on loose skin thanks to a ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology. As a part of this package, we also have the Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, perfect for those hard to reach areas. We also have Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver. These things will put a little pep in your step and make you feeling good under the hood. And two free gifts come with this package. First of all, you get this nice leather tote bag, very quality, comes and is able to fit everything inside of it. You also get the Manscaped Boxer Briefs, which I would show you, but I'm wearing. They are very in, they're very comfortable. They're insane. So they have a bunch of other grooming products on their website that will help you maximize your confidence and your grooming game. So get involved with code TFA. 20% off at manscaped.com. It's time to level up from Amazon to the Amadong with the ultimate bushwhacking tools from Manscaped. Back to the video. So let's dive right into footies and start talking about an SBC that we could be seeing today. A winner of the vote that we had released two days ago on Wednesday. We have leaked results for that vote. Luis Diaz, first place. Kai Havertz second place and Juan Bisaka third place. This is kind of what I expected because of the Havertz card being fodder and Luis Diaz just being such a popular player IRL. These are the leaked results. And in my opinion, we might be seeing a Luis Diaz SBC as soon as today. That might be our SBC content today on Friday as a part of the footies promo. Now, Foot Sheriff has said that he is a premium footies winner, which there are a couple card designs that we have to look at. This is the potential card that we could be getting via SBC today, and it kind of reminds you of last year, doesn't it? Last year on Footies Friday, the first day, we had a left mid Allen St. Maximin footies card dropped. Not obviously the same card, but a left mid in the prem, very hyped player. This would be an incredible SBC. He would have a five-star weak foot, not five-star skills, but the whole premise of this vote was a five-star weak foot upgrade. So this card today, if it is released, would have a five-star weak foot boost. And why not just give him five-star skills? EA Sports, that would be a disgusting left wing in, if he had 5-5. Five, five. That'd be crazy. But let me show you the two card designs because this card design looks absolutely fire. But there's two different ones, and they both have different meanings. Here's the first one, right? This is the regular footies card design. This was shown on the loading screen on Wednesday when we had the first loading screen that just showed nothing else but this. This is the regular footies design. I, I would imagine that a lot of objectives and a lot of SBC players are going to get dropped like this. Now, also, there is this card design that is added. This one looks insane. I love the looks of this card. This is called the premium Footies item, and according to what Foot Sheriff said, he is the guy that is leaking all this stuff, right? According to what he said earlier in the week, and it's been it's been a while back since he tweeted it, so I'm gonna scroll through here really, really fast and see if I can find it. Um, but he did say that these premium SBC cards have different links than all. Here it is. 
We will get a new type of card called Premium Footies. The chemistry will work similar to Foot Heroes with a green link to everyone that plays in the same league. They will be available via SBC and objective. So he is saying that the winner SBC for Luis Diaz, if it is dropped today or whenever it's dropped, it's going to get a premium card design, premium footies design. That's crazy. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out today. That will be a huge part of today's content, though. If EA is dropping like hero cards that are regular players in FIFA, if you, if you know what I mean, like they link like heroes, green link to any league. But they're, you know, normal players on FIFA that have normal gold cards that link regularly. So I don't know how that's going to go. That sounds really crazy to me, but I'm excited for that. I think there's a lot of potential with this premium footies item. So I think today that Luis Diaz is going to be our SBC player. I don't know if we're going to get both Diaz and Havertz because EA did say that first and second place would both get SBCs. I don't know if they're both coming today or if EA will kind of stagger those so they can kind of take more time in between the votes. I don't know. But also what we could see today in objectives is an Mbabu card. This is the only other, this is one of the other leaks that is available right now and it's been posted. Uh, this is a right back Mbabu that we could be seeing. This would be, of course, a very fan favorite right back card from the Bundesliga. That would be a very hype objective. And there's another one that's been leaked. I don't know if this is today or if it'll be later on in the weekend, but a dynamic duo objective, Mason Mount and Reese James. We talked about this in yesterday's video. This could be coming today. We don't know. I would probably just expect to see uh, either Mbabu or Mount slash Reese James. I, don't, I doubt we would get all three today on Friday. Probably just one objective cards or this duo set because these two will be dropped together. It is also rumored that these two cards will be leaked and given out as the premium design. So again, th that premium footies design is something that we're unsure about, but it's really, really hype. So that's something we have to kind of keep in mind. Those are our leaks for objectives and for SBCs. Now, let me take a look at this loading screen with you guys because the other part of today's content is like, Nate, What's going to be in packs, right? Because we see this loading screen. We know that footies is about cards being re-released back into packs. What does this mean? Well, yesterday, first of all, EA messed this up, but we know what it is now. Let's start here. We know who these players are. Team of the Year Mbappe, Winter Wild Cards Neymar. And this could be three different foot fantasy players because three cards had those exact same stats. But we would imagine that it's Usman Dembele, the best out of those three. It could be Usman, Coutinho, or Anthony Martial. But the premise of this loading screen to me is they're telling us that they are re-releasing past special cards back into packs. That's no surprise. That's what they do every year during footies. But it is nice to see a couple of the cards that are going to be in, right? Mbappe, Neymar, and Usman Dembele. Those are some pretty big headliners. And what we really expect today is... Some older special cards re-released back in packs, yes, but it creates an incredible amount of opportunity for packs to be as great as we have ever seen them because you are going to be able to pack so many special cards from packs today. I mean, I can just imagine, think about going into the store today and let's say you've saved some packs like I have. Um, you're going to go into the store today and if you, if you look at pack probabilities at all, right now when you look at a 100K pack, it shows you Shapeshifters player and Foot Hero Shapeshifters player. They're going to be releasing all sorts of past promo cards and packs, maybe like Road to the Finals, maybe Winter Wild Cards. Well, obviously Winter Wild Cards. We see that on the loading screen. We have Team of the Years, maybe some Foot Birthdays as well, some Future Stars. Those would all be types of cards that could be re-released today. And there's going to be so many different players in packs. We'll probably have around 100 different players in packs. That's why it is a great time to open up 85 times fives. You're 81, 82, 83 times 25. Those packs from Summer Swaps, it's going to be a good time to open those because you're just going to get so much fodder. There's going to be so much fodder available and packable from those packs. But of course, the other side of the coin is, Nate, what about shapeshifters or team of the season cards? Like, why would I want to go out and try to pack a card from a previous promo like future stars that nobody would use in their team anymore? Or maybe even like foot captains or like a headliners card. Like those cards are old. They're dead, right? That is very true. But those cards today will probably be the ones that are re-entered into packs. So just keep an eye on the market. If you still have any of those types of cards in your team, like a team of the year card um, that, are, that we know are going to be re-released today. If you still have 
a, a future star, a foot captains, a foot fantasy upgrade card, foot birthday. Not every single one of the foot birthday cards in the game will be re-released back into packs, but the ones that do get re-released will have massive, massive, massive drops in price. So that is the first thing that you have to be careful about today. And I want to show you some examples of last year, right? A couple cards that were in packs last year in the best of uh, batch number one. That's what it should be called today, right? Footy's best of batch number one. Ansu Fati was one of those. He went from 800,000 800, coins all the way down to 100k in the course of the weekend that he was dropped back into packs. Virgil van Dyke, team of the year last year, goes from 800k down to 200,000 coins in that weekend that he has first dropped back into packs because of the best of re-release. Crazy price drops, right? And again, if we take a look at the list of players from Footy's Batch 1 from last year, you see we have Foot Freeze players. You guys will remember some of these cards. We've got Foot Birthday. We've got Future Stars. We've got Headliners. We've got Ones to Watch, Record Breakers, Road to the Final. So basically what they do is they take a handful of players from each of the previous promo releases that have happened earlier on in the year. Notice here there's Team of the Week cards as well. Uh, team of the Year cards, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, the What If promo from last year. They just take a handful of players. Big names, you know, uh, are included in there as well. We got a Ronaldo Team of the Year last year. We had De Bruyne Team of the Year. You know, we had like a Messi Team of the Group stage. There that was. Um, we had a, an Mbappe Record Breakers was released. So we'll have all the big name players in packs today. It'll just be a whole bunch of special cards that will be re-released back into packs. They're going to get supplied like crazy. But as I mentioned, the difference from this year to last year is one thing that dropped prices so much last year on footies Friday, the day first day of footies was preview packs. And this year in FIFA, we have not seen a preview pack other than the 7.5k preview pack that we have right here. We have not seen anything other than just a 7.5k preview pack since like November. And last year on this very day, they dropped an 87 plus star rare players pack that's a lightning round pack if you guys are not familiar with it it's like a 70,000 coin pack they dropped one of those as a preview pack last year now i'm not saying it's going to happen today because we haven't seen preview packs in forever but if ea wanted to generate a lot of chaos on the market they could drop a preview pack today and that would make prices across the game especially in those cards that are in packs the new footies batch one cards that are re-released uh, drop even more. So if you're somebody who's like looking at an Mbappe team of the year card today, you know, I would be selling this. This card is already down a couple hundred thousand coins. It's going to go further. Neymar was 800k. He's now 700. He's going to go further. Usman Dembele is, was, was 2 million coins. Now he's 1.7, right? He's going to go further down because they're getting resupplied on the market today. So anything that gets re-released back in packs is going to drop like crazy. But like I said at the beginning, when I started talking about this, you might be like, Nate, what about shapeshifters? Because who cares about some of these older cards? They're behind the power curve. What about my hero shapeshifters, a Betty Pele that was 1.5 million coins that is now 1.3 million coins and has dropped down crazy in price, but it's still like very meta and a card that a lot of people want to use. Well, first of all, I would have to say this a Betty Pele might be affected in price today because of the Luis Diaz. If he is a left mid, that would be another insane left mid. People would maybe sell this card to go use him but besides that point what i would really watch for on the market today is a lot of panic in the first hour or two a lot of prices even on cards like these shapeshifters are probably going to drop for a short time span there's going to be some panic selling today just because today is it's that hype of a day it's going to be an insane day on fifa with everything going on people are going to be opening swaps packs there's going to be all new footies just stuff in the game they're probably going to give us free packs today like an engagement reward so people are going to be busy in that first 30 minutes to an hour and you're going to see a lot of price drops on this game today but i do think that you will also see some price rebounds on some of these most recent pretty rare and meta cards this is the exact same thing that happened last year in fiva 21 last year we had like the um i don't even remember what they were called they were like the ptg cards yeah the path to glory and the summer stars i think is what they were called last year those cards got panic sold really hard in the first hour and then they rebounded like crazy because one thing that we also have today is new and increased demand for weekend league right people now know based off of the update to weekend league rewards which happens for this weekend by the way the weekend league that starts today on friday the rewards are new they're changed you can get shapeshifter players 
in your Week in League rewards and also in the tradable packs that are inside of Week in League rewards as well. Although the tradable packs are not that great. Rank four is the play this week, by the way, because you get a 90 plus SS and Efigs Tots three player pack. If you go rank three and above, you're only getting a pack that contains one player in it. One 92 plus slash Efigs Tots. That's unfortunate. That's only one player that sucks, honestly. Uh, the three player pack is probably gonna make you more coins than the 92 pluses, unless the pack weight's like really, really insane, which you could still pack like LaFont Tots from a 92 plus SS slash Efigs. So I think rank four is the week if you like to play a lot of games of FIFA, but rank six or rank five, nine or 11 wins is gonna be the sweet spot because there's new and increased demand for people to play weekend league because imagine packing like Shapeshifter Hazard or Sun or Ramos from a, a red player pick, right? That'd be so cool. So, you know, that's going to be, there's going to be more demand for people. Like I'm even contemplating trying to play weekend league and getting my 11 wins this weekend just to see what the rewards look like. And I think there's going to be a lot of demand on this game. And I think that's going to cause prices on the market to bounce back a couple hours after content today on this game. So that'd be something that I would really, really watch out for is watch out for panic selling today and then be prepared for a rebound. Of course, you have to pick your spots very carefully, right? Like I said, with the Abedi Pele, I don't know if I, I'd be very careful with an Abedi Pele today. It is a very rare card and it does uh, have a lot of potential to rise back up because he is so rare. But if we're getting a Luis Diaz SBC today, that means a Luis Diaz is going to look incredible and people are going to want to try out that card as a left mid instead of this Abedi Pele. So that's just one thing that I would say to try to keep in mind with everything that's going on with the market today. So you're going to have some rebounds, but you're also going to have a lot of price drops. And I think we've kind of covered that really well with how we expect the meta cards on the market to react today. Now, let's talk about SBC fodder for a second as well. Nate, what's going to happen with SBC fodder? Well, just to take a look back at our list from last year, you see that the cards that get re-released back into packs, you know, there's there's ratings in here that range from 83, 84, 85, all the way to like 97. So a lot of people like 85 rated Gareth Bale, 86 Kai Havertz, 86 Timo Werner from last year. There's going to be cards today on the game uh, that get re-released. Team of the week cards, man of the matches, old other promo cards that are basically going to turn into fodder today and they're going to drop off in price even more. And so those cards are going to make specifically the higher tier, probably some of your 87 to like 93 rated fodder cards. Um, I would imagine that prices on that part of the market will drop today. Your 90 rated specifically, like think about a Taliso who's 40K. Think about if he gets re-released into packs today or a Casemiro Rule Breakers with all the cards that are going to be in packs the fodder ones are going to get supplied and packed so much that it's going to drive that higher tier of fodder down. It's like the same thing that happened during team of the season when we've got all those team of the season cards, like 92 rated tots cards were just were dirt cheap, right? That's not the case anymore because of SBC requirements. But I think the high tier on fodder is going to drop a decent amount today with all the supply. The low tier is already dirt cheap. I mean, look at 84s, they're 3,000 coins, 85s are at 6K. I think these cards probably gonna drop a little bit lower late tonight on Friday. The usual buy time for fodder is probably gonna be in effect, and I think it's gonna be a fantastic time to get in on SBC fodder. The only thing that could change that today is I, I need to check the SBCs right now to double check this, but EA changed the refresh time for the 93 plus shapeshifters player pick, which is really unfortunate because we thought we were gonna be able to do this and this SBC again today on Friday, but it looks like it is no longer repeatable. See, there's a zero right down here. If that does change at some point and we can do this today, then I would maybe expect some fodder cards to rebound back up on that middle tier to high tier range. But as of right now, it looks like we're not gonna be able to. And the 85 plus player pick looks like it's, um going away at 6 p.m. today as well, as do all of these other player pick SBCs. So fodder today, I'd be very careful with it. I think it has more potential to rise like next week. What today is really all about is whatever big SBCs, whatever big objective footies cards that we get, uh, people are gonna be excited about those, want to go do those. They're gonna go open their packs. And then I think they're gonna go back out on the market and, and buy cards and build teams to play weekend league because of the new rewards and because of the hype that is there for those. So I would really be watching the market today. Like a lot of prices are down already. Like this Bellingham was 900K, man. And now he's 780, right? Like that's crazy. How much is Pedri? 
Pedri was like under 600K for a bit. He's still 615. You know, that's the stuff that I'd be keeping a close eye on today. Uh, everything that is in packs, you want to probably stay away from, uh, except for a couple risky flips. And then everything that's out of packs that are that are most recent cards, I give you the thumbs up to try to trade with some of those today, try to flip and make some coins on those because I think that there will be a lot of movement on the market today. But regardless, it is an incredibly hype Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team because of the footies cards coming into the game. Footies is a long promo, but it's a good one. I'm excited to start it off today with a bang. Hopefully EA have some prizes for us. Maybe they give us a free pack. Like I mentioned, that was something that we would expect. And hopefully there's some other things that we don't even know about yet that we expect to see today. Should be a great day on FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the, a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.